Ooh, Xenoblade. Xenoblade Chronicles 1 and 2 happen to be a couple of my favorite games that I've played so far, so I'm not surprised that I'm enjoying the third one. I mean, look at where I'm standing right now. It's so pretty. Look at all that snow. Oh my god. I just love walking around in this game. And I love kicking ass too. Look at that. Oh yeah, taking him down so easy. Until I walk over here and find this big guy. Like, what's your problem? You trying to fight? I'll fight you. After I gain like five more levels, I'll be back. Don't you worry. So like I was saying, I'm going to take his ass down in no time because I've got all these side quests I've been going through. And sooner or later, I'm going to be leagues ahead of him. Look at this. It just keeps going and going and going. Oh, hey, it stopped. <laughs> all this grinding is giving me time to think. So I've made stuff like this and this and this. It's been a fun and rewarding process turning my creations into something more tangible, like the shirt that I had shipped in recently. I want to keep making cool things involving video game characters that I love, so why not create something inspired by Xenoblade? This is Mio, and I showed her off on my channel the other day, but she wasn't done yet, so I've added a few more things that I think you might like. The first thing was her weapons, because I just thought they looked cool and they were unique to her. And I think that it's really important when someone looks at a piece, especially when they're a fan of Xenoblade, that they're able to recognize the character in some way. You'll see I spent some time creating this ring of hers before I just completely realized I wasn't going to get it as accurate as I wanted to, just by having a reference photo there. It would have taken me a while longer, and this was the only reference photo that I could find of her weapon. So instead, I directly inserted a reference photo of Mio onto my canvas. I completely erased her, leaving only the weapon visible. And after distorting it to the right proportions that I needed, I traced over it. Oh Hold my up. god, did she just say she more? traced? Yes, yes I did. I actually think that sometimes it comes in handy as a useful tool. I don't think that you should do it all the time. I think that you should study references and learn and develop your skills. But in this case, it was really helpful and it saved me time. Once I reached a point where I couldn't trace anymore, I took the design, duplicated it onto another layer, flipped it horizontally, lowered the opacity, went back to the original layer that I was doing this design on, and continued to trace until it was complete. And then BAM! We add some lines here, give it some nice curves, add some detail. Once that's all complete, we're ready to give it a twin and have them paired together. I want to create the illusion that there's some distance between the two weapons, seeing as she's supposed to be releasing them from each of her hands. All I needed to do in order to achieve that is duplicate the layer I worked on and then shrink it to size. This is where I start to add a border to it put some sparkles here and there for final touches, and then I'm pretty much done. I tried at some point adding a mask to her face, because I know that was a staple look for Console M, but it just wasn't working for me. Which is kind of disappointing, because I really liked her mask, I wanted to make it work. And I had a few moments where I was battling with myself this idea of whether or not I wanted to draw her armor in the silhouette, and have her mask included in there. But there's just something so nice about her silhouette as it is now. It's simple. I think I'm gonna take my boyfriend's advice on this and create a second version where I do have her armor implemented in the silhouette and her mask. For now, we're gonna call this finished and I'm gonna go ahead and sign it. Oh yeah, buddy, look at that, it's so satisfying! Ooh, look at how perfect that lines up. Oh. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it all the way to the end, thank you for your time and I'll see you around.